What is going on, guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about the roadmap that Zoss put out for the Elder Scrolls Online. It kind of gives us an idea of what we can expect for the game for the coming year. Of course, we didn't get too many details past summer, but we did get a good bit of information still. So first of all, we'll talk about Spring 2024. That's when the new DLC is going to come out and Update 41. You're going to get two new dungeons, The Veil and Oathsworn Pit. Eight new item sets, new collectibles, furnishings, and dies, and of course new achievements and titles. And with that base game update, you're going to get new homes, furnishings, and house guests, the ability to stack siege equipment, which is something a lot of PvP players have been asking for for a long time, increased undaunted key rewards, three new rewards of the worthy, and a new mythic item. Now for summer 2024, this will be the Gold Road chapter and update 42. We did not get a lot of information about Update 42 yet, besides you know the details coming soon for the base game features. But for the Gold Road chapter, we do know we're going to get the new zone, the new system, which is scribing, kind of like spellcrafting, or at least uh, Zoss's take on spellcrafting, skill styling, new 12-player trial, new world event, and new Tales of Tribute decks. And of course, it says, and more. And they went on to kind of just lightly talk about in this exactly what's going to be coming kind of at the end of the year we all know that the fall quarter is not something it's not really the same uh, kind of like it used to be in the elder scrolls online we used to always have another dungeon dlc at this time and ca and now it's kind of turned into a quality of life and, and improvement time which is a good thing in my opinion uh, they're going to have housing features and quality of life improvements in 2024 or the fall of 2024. And then in the winter of 2024, we're going to have a PvP feature and two new companions. So we will be getting new companions this year. I know I have seen some people asking, are the new companions coming with the Gold Road chapter? It looks like the companions will be coming at the end of the year this year instead of with the Gold Road chapter. And I'm assuming just because they're adding that new scribing system, the skill styling, that kind of stuff to the game, they probably felt like that was going to be one of the main focuses along with the new zone. And I can kind of understand why they decided to, you know, add the companions later on down the road. I'm real kind of curious. I'm really curious, honestly, to see how the scribing, the skill styling is going to go. Uh, I know there's been a lot of people that have wanting, wanted spell crafting in the Elder Scrolls Online for a really long time. But there's also part of the community that felt like the game did not need that. So it's going to be interesting to see how the community accepts and kind of, you know, enjoys, I guess I would say, scribing. Because I have seen people comment that it's going to be a lot for newer players to kind of, you know, take on because you already have so many abilities and having to learn a rotation, whether you're on a DPS tank or a healer, that being able to craft your own skills to a point we know that everything's not going to be available during the gold road uh, chapter they're going to add more and more ability to do scribing as the game goes on but eventually you're going to have a lot of options when it comes to crafting kind of your own skill setup and that could be a bit overwhelming for new players and i do understand why people have been discussing that uh, but i'm really curious to see how uh, the Gold Road chapter is accepted. Of course, a new chapter in the Elder Scrolls Online is always a great time to me because you have a new zone and new things to do. But at the same time, a big system change like this, adding in scribing, is something that we've not really seen in the past. I mean, yes, you may get companions, you may get new classes and things added to the game, uh, you know, with larger chapter updates over the years. But the ability to skill style and, you know, scribe your own skills is going to be something that is definitely a, a kind of new step forward in ESO. So leave me a comment with your thoughts. Let me know what you think about this uh, kind of, you know, year-long roadmap they've given us. You know, not giving us a lot of details about all of it, but they kind of just hinted and talked a little bit about what we can expect, you know, starting here very soon with the new DLC. Then, of course, with the Gold Road chapter and going forward. Leave me a comment with your thoughts, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.